Hello, so in this lab, I'll show you how to integrate a uh, sonar cloud with your Azure DevOps pipeline. All right, so let's get started with it. So I'm already on sonar cloud.io. So I'll just click on login and you have multiple login options as you can see over here. I'll go ahead with login with Azure DevOps and I'll select my Azure DevOps account. So this is the login part. Now you need to integrate your Azure DevOps organization right, with this uh, Honor Cloud. So you need to click on analyze new project or you might get a direct option to import a new organization. So I'll click on import a new organization right, and it will ask you your Azure DevOps organization name which in my case is this. Now it will ask you for personalized access token. Okay, You need to click on personal access token and here you can create a new personal access token so i'll call it for sonar cloud right and it requires uh in code it requires read and write access i'll give it a read and write access i'll copy this and paste it over here and i'll click on continue okay so it is asking for your uh, it will generate basically a key. So the key name I'll call it as keep it as it is. You can customize if it if you want to. And I'll choose a pre plan for this lab. You get basically five uh, scans uh, per day if you are in a free plan. So I'll click to a free plan and I'll click on create organization. Now you'll see all the list of Azure repositories or Azure repos over here which you can scan right so i'll just go in with this one where i have my asp.net core app and i'll click on setup okay now next uh, sonar cloud is asking you like with which uh, with what you are trying to integrate it so i'm integrating it with azure devops pipeline and it is telling me that you will require to install an app inside your Azure DevOps organization. Okay, so we'll do this part later. And then you will get your access token. So I'll copy this access token. Okay, and the part is done. Now you need to go to your Azure DevOps organization. And in your Azure DevOps organization, you need to click on extension and you need to click on save i'm oh, sorry browse marketplace and here you can search for sonar cloud and you can install the extension of sonar cloud now i'll select here my organization and I'll click on install so this will install the sonar cloud extension inside my organization you can see it over here next I need to go to my project and inside the project I need to go to service connection and here I need to create a service connection okay so I'll search for sonar cloud and it is asking for the sonar cloud token now this is not the token which is created while you imported your project right you will require a different token for this okay which you will find over here inside your account under security and let's call it as token you are using it for azure devops i'll call it azure devops and i'll say generate now I'll copy this token and paste it over here and I'll click on verify. Now service connection name is sonar cloud and I'll say like this uh, service connection can be used or by all my pipelines and I'll click on verify and save and we have done the authentication part from Azure DevOps project to the sonar uh, cloud account now finally I need to go to my 
I need to go to my Azure DevOps pipeline and I'll click on edit pipeline. Now here I need to add two things. First I need to add the Sonar Cube configurations, right? So I'll search for a task over here, which is Sonar Cloud, right? And over here I'll click on prepare analysis configuration. Okay, so you will need to tell the uh, Sonar Cloud organization name, okay? And you would also need to provide the project key which is available over here as part of your preparation and the project name project name is this and you will click on add so this will add the configuration now using this configuration you want to do the analysis bit so here again you will search for sonar and this time you will click on run code analysis remember you need to do this thing before the build step before the build starts and this you can do it after the build and the uh, yml file is updated to run basically run or talk to sonar cloud for static code analysis so i'll click on save and that should invoke the uh, run process the pipeline is running and it will take a few minutes let's uh, come back after a few minutes right so as you can see guys uh, it is performing the static code analysis right so it's talking to sonar cloud and it is doing the code analysis for us and within some time we would be able to see reports over here it's still not here up yet but uh, Anytime now, you should see the reports. And here we are. So we can see certain reports, right? It shows me like there are four bugs inside my code. So let me click on this. And here we are. Now I can basically see what are the bugs if I click on this it will show me the severity right and the type of work bugs I have right and why is this issue that you can click on that it will tell you that as well so over here you can see code coverage so there is zero percent code coverage because I have integrated uh, I haven't integrated any unit testing there are no security vulnerabilities as of such because uh, I'm not using any uh, third party packages as of now inside this code, right? It's a very standard sample code. Uh, in terms of maintainability, there are 15 code smell, right? There are four bucks as, as we, as I told you earlier, right? And security review, review there are two security hotspot, right? So I'm using some regular expression. This code is using some regular expression somewhere, right? It is basically catching that thing and telling that there are some, uh, all right, there are some security related hotspots over here which could lead to uh, denial of service okay. so this is how you integrate sonar cloud with your azure devops pipeline for static code analysis this is it for this video thank you for watching